To end phase our part, we're first going to turn the spindle on with the part secured in the lathe chuck. Move the x-axis or cross slide in in front of the workpiece. Now slowly move the z-axis towards the chuck until your tool just touches the front face. Then hand feed the tool off of the part in the x-axis again. Our next step is to zero our digital readout in the z-axis. So on this readout I can push z0 enter or push the z0 to zero the readout. Our next step is to move in our depth of cut in the z-axis. So with my hand on the z-axis hand feed wheel I'm going to move the tool towards the chuck 25 thou and then take that off of the end face and see if that removes all the saw cut marks. We've moved the tool in 25 thou in the z-axis towards the chuck. We're going to engage our cross feed now and let the tool cut towards the center. Once the tool reaches the center, we'll disengage the cross feed and hand feed it back off of the front face. We can now look and see if there's any saw cut marks remaining. Once the tool is no longer touching the face, we can stop the spindle and have a good look and see if we've removed all the saw cut marks. If we haven't, we'll take another rough cut. If we have, we'll want to take a nice light 10 thou, 15 thou cut off the face again to get a nice surface finish. To finish end facing this part, I'm going to move my Z axis towards the chuck again, this time 10 thou. Take a nice light finish cut to the center. So this time, however, once my tool reaches the center, I'm not going to hand feed it back because I don't want to scratch or rough up my surface finish. I'm going to move the Z axis away from the part and then I can feed it back by hand on the X axis. And